Hey everybody, welcome to the Fun House Podcast. I'm Armando Torres and today I'm joined by three wonderful people. We've got Jacob Fullerton. Hi. We've got Ryan Haley. Uh, what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> and we've got Charlotte McGrath. New, blue, and full of goo. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus fucking shit. What? <laughs> like plasma. plasma. You're going to get blitzed the vapors. <laughs> that woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Hey, well, hi. thanks for joining us, everybody. We're done for the day. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey Ryan, how's Hi, it going? Man. I've been better. Yeah. I, I had a. I was in Austin, Texas this morning at five a.m. What a, morning? A, a flight. I got here this morning. I'm barely alive right now. Oh my god! I got, I got fuck? fucked up all weekend at a wedding that That's... I affi- that I officiated. I was a priest this weekend. Yeah, can you show them the shoes you officiated in? It was my new ones that have not been broken in yet, but it's but apparently these are not good officiating shoes. But says who? Says everyone that laughed at me when I walked in here and told them that. I mean, it's <laughs> nice to see you wearing these because the last ones literally looked like a blown out tire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like bad. there was just flaps just like waving around. Uh-huh. And, like, they were getting wider somehow. It was weird. <laughs> yeah. You were sa- you were walking the color out of them. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm barely here, though, but I'm happy to be here. How did you end up on this podcast? <laughs> I, I, I Armando asked me, uh, texted me, and, and I was like drunk, and I sh- probably should have said no. <laughs> yeah, I could tell that you were fucked up because... I, I I remembered that I needed to get somebody out for on for the podcast and uh-huh. I messaged and because I was fucked up yeah. and yeah. so I messaged Ryan like hey man on like Saturday night or something do you want, yeah <laughs> like almost midnight yeah. was like hey man do you want to be on the podcast on Monday and I was like that was too drunk of a message I shouldn't have sent it and then I, he sent me back verbatim yes let's do it yeah. <laughs> I can see where the failure of communication yeah I think that was a proper success of communication for that was two, great. two drunk yeah. fellas yeah now we're here coordinating a podcast we're responsible yeah, yeah. We're, see that's the thing no. we're, we were able to we, we go somewhere else we get fucked up and then we come back and we suffer get the consequences the work of yeah. our uh, uh, choices that we made while it's we a were whole drunk I can't say anything I stumble. I just stumbled to Armando's apartment <laughs> shit faced last week because it was so cl- it was the closest place and I couldn't I couldn't make it home. Were you slipping on all the goo? I, I <laughs> you know I was goo slipping. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, uh, Charlotte texted me at like 1.30 in the morning and I was uh, I was high. I was pretty uh-huh. high. I was watching like scary movies or something. And she goes, are you up and about? I and think then, that's normal. That's a, it's a I normal thing. Normal. Normal. Well, you came it's over normal. and just went, I had a good night. And then you've like <laughs> fell onto my couch and passed out for a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I want to hear that at night. What the fuck? And then we got egg yeah. slut in the morning. Yeah. Oh, I love oh that, was, really? that was the egg slut morning. Mm-hmm. Any egg slut. Time of day, I think, is a good time of day. <laughs> yeah, to be clear to anyone who's unfamiliar, Egg Slut is a restaurant that uh, is in Los Angeles, and mm-hmm. we're not like making fun of a waitress that's like particularly flirty. Absolutely, not. particularly no. fertile. Yeah, oh, I was talking about <laughs> Alice that lives behind the Waffle House over on. Oh, uh, she's yeah. an Egg Slut. <laughs> yeah, uh, self-proclaimed. She's I'm waiting cool. to get good full of goo. <laughs> oh, <God. Ew>. but also, <laughs> Jesus. No, that was the egg whites. Secondly, I'm Speaking also... of full of goo, let's uh, take a moment to congratulate Greg and Cecilia on their unity of their marriage this weekend. Uh, congratulations. Uh, congratulations, Greg and Cecilia. Is there a wedding Cecilia. hashtag? I don't know. There's, yeah, like a cool pun with their name. His yeah, like hashtag Meemeyer. Greg Slut. <laughs> oh, my God. Can we yeah. still uh, buy stuff for the registry? Yeah, you can. Yeah, Greg and Cecilia's wedding dot com or some shit like that. Cool. Go, go buy him some stuff. I got him a pasta strainer like thirty minutes before the wedding. I was like, shit, I didn't do that. <laughs> wow. I'm sure a priest. A nice know, shoe tray. Uh, Patrick and his wife had a uh, baby Yoda chia pet in their registry, uh-huh. and I was like, this is perfect. And so I added it to the cart, and then must have just taken a walk or something. <laughs> it, and then when I came back to it, I was like, oh. I didn't know that I still had this in here. So I hit order and then I was like, let me check the registry. And I saw it was it had already been bought by someone else. So I had to like return it. Oh, lame. 
I, th- th- they're going to another thing I bought for them was th- they're going to Reykjavik, Iceland for their honeymoon. Oh, that's great. And Ooh. I'm pretty sure specifically okay. part of the reason they're going there is to go to the International Penis Museum that was featured in the movie The Final Member. Yeah. yeah. Everyone should go watch it. Yeah. I've heard and so I gave them, me. yeah, f- <laughs> we've talked about it several times. Yeah. And many, many, many it. videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, 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 but then I was like, all right, because there was a fund where like you can contribute to their honeymoon fund. And I said, all right, here's like 50 bucks, but only to be used at the at the merch shop at the International Penis Museum. Okay. I don't want it to be used for anything else. Yeah, I uh, dated somebody who had gone to it and would constantly nice. talk about it. And she, the one story that she kept telling me, like almost like she forgot that she had told me. I think she just liked the story. That seems to happen a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. was I'll the explain. the person who had their cock donated. To, yeah, Elmo or yeah. or well, the, the there's guy the old man. Elmo says, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. "Elmo says, look at this." It's cup. an amazing. Yeah, you know, it's a, there was a ni- like ninety year old Iceland dude yeah. who was gonna donate, but then an American guy named uh, he had, with his dick named Elmo. He mm-hmm. wanted to do it while he was still alive. Yeah, and then um, anyway, well, that's what the movie. Break your Rick. It's funny you mentioned like. Elmo's horn go. Uh, somebody, just, yeah. <laughs> somebody forgetting that they keep talking about this museum because Ryan keeps forgetting that he talks. Yeah, about yeah. It. I brought up like four videos with yeah. Jacob. There's was, something about this museum that like ever they keep spreading the word, but every time you're like, yeah, I know you told me about the cock museum. Yeah, it's a curse. They're just like oh, I'm completely. Well, forgot. I knew this because you brought it up in a deadly premonition. We just showed it, right. That's what it was in. Something like you're that. You're talking about it. You're describing it very uh, enthusiastically, dramatically. Um, and then like the way you were saying it, I was like, so familiar. And then I was like, I know why, because I, I found this GTA I edited where it's you, like three years ago. uh, John and Alana, it just like playing GTA and you're talking about this museum and the way you describe it and the cadence with which you describe it is the exact same. Uh-huh. As, Rehearsed. Yeah. Like <laughs> I pulled up the video, like a couple minutes after Ryan had mentioned it. I'm like, it's the same thing. This is exactly how he said H- Haven't it. you ever like, you know, you had a conversation about a movie before and then you've had, then with, you've had it with several people. Yeah. And so you've almost at this point, like, oh, we've had this conversation. I'm, yeah. You have the delivery. Yeah. Down. This is what this movie is about to, to the people who don't know. And it, granted only it. Alana was the per- only person in that room who'd heard it before. And I, I don't think she remembered. Like, yeah. You and you didn't hear it. I, I heard it different like not from you directly <laughs> so it was a weird how turn many of events. people have you tried to convince to go to where is it because it's Reykjavik. In like, yeah Reykjavik. Reykjavik. it's in iceland i've never been to iceland Are you gonna eat this bagel maybe at some point i just have it there i, I feel like i need more stuff needs to be in my stomach than than is right now i have you an haven't orange here even too. been to the cock museum no i've never been to the cock museum i just had a what the uh, fuck where'd that come from where'd that orange come from <laughs> I, I realized well, once from? you brought up the bagel i was like i actually am kind of hungry for this orange <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like <a> magician. <laughs> i was looking at him and i don't know where he got that from <laughs> <laughs> I, I I need more fruit in my life. Yeah, this yeah. is the well, second podcast where you've been on, and we've talked about your affinity for pulling, pulling oranges, oranges from nowhere. You like citrus fruits. Yeah, you're I not do. gonna get scurvy. Yeah, I'm I, not I going believe to get that. It's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. I uh, good. Well, if you're interested in goo, you can go to the Cock Museum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How long have you been sitting on that one, Charlotte? How long? I could, just couldn't find the time to slip it in there. <laughs> Much like you would between the tiles of a shower. <laughs> and no other comparisons. And that's it! <laughs> uh, joke finished. So, Ryan, you've had a, a pretty eventful couple of uh, weeks recently. I've been watching a lot of the videos that you post. Mm-hmm. Had Thank some- you pretty interesting one i think actually i watch every single one and i have since the first video that you posted that i watched that wasn't like a funhouse thing was if bananas were gonna have sex which way would they do it (laughs) how do bananas have sex yes Yes, that video yeah it's fantastic and it was uh (laughs) not not my proudest moment but thank you i'm glad you like that one yeah well i did appreciate how much work you had to put in to remove your hands from the video i did it in like the stupidest way too like I, yeah you know because like, there was a plate that i shot but i basically didn't really it's hard to explain but yeah i ended up just rotoscoping the entire thing needlessly but so. recently Yes. I wanted to talk about two videos that you put out. First and foremost, the uh, the portal video. Oh, that okay. Yes. Me so, running into my window. Yeah. Why did you first of all I, I want to know why okay. 
If you haven't seen it, Ryan did a video where he was, I don't even want to say parroting. I don't know what the point was, but you were making like portal yeah. and then you would That's jump through old. one and then it would like create a loop and then one of the portals would disappear and you would slam into the wall. Right. Yes. While That's you were filming it, uh, some shit happened. That yeah, you I, I actually broke my window. Oh, mm. Rick's in here. With the trash can. Is this for my orange? Oh, thank you. He said, yeah. "Don't worry, I got. I, I filmed you putting the orange peels in." <laughs> Lindsay, orange will, Lindsay will throw it on the everywhere. air table. <laughs> okay, so, great. <laughs> just like you're just tossing it in, and every time he throws a peel, and the cup goes. <laughs> just, <laughs> and a rat a sound effect every time that happens. <laughs> I've never There's seen. No editor. <laughs> I've never seen. Stop flinging. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. I've never seen a man dismantle an orange so savagely. <laughs> I'm trying to ask you questions, but I'm noticing that you're because you're not like ripping them into the <laughs> tiny orange slices. You're grabbing chunks of orange. I didn't do this right. <laughs> you're, you're you're tired. You know you've had a long. I had a long day. Long day. Um, <laughs> you just threw away half the orange. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you just flung orange juice into their face. <laughs> I just watched it fly up in the line. It was so. How did you have so much juice on your hand? I was already. Oh my god. Well, no, they're not going to get yeah. scurvy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Throw, put you, them in the trash can. You did yeah. all that work <laughs> peeling that orange. What? You threw doing? it That's away. The That's I'm the sorry. Bag. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> That's probably a fresh bag, yeah, to be fair. Here, let me get some What are you doing? <laughs> I'm eating the rest of it. Let me I, get a beat. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna trip oh. all over me. It's been in the trash can. You got to talk in the mic. Yeah, That's a, he gave you a <laughs> piece of, it wasn't a slice of orange, it was a torn off yeah. chunk of savage so, portal video. Yes, the portal video. You the know portal. what makes this worse? What? Is it, that is, it's very warm. Good orange? No. Warm. It's so warm. You don't know where it's been. No. That orange that I put in my mouth that you handed me was 98.6 degrees. That's <laughs> human flesh. It's been to Austin, Texas and back. Oh. Uh, what? Has it? Yeah. <laughs> the portal video was... Uh, um, <laughs> I, my, I, uh, that video is stupid because that's not like... was. Uh, I have all these videos that I uh, are like long, longer videos that are going to take me weeks to do. But then sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm like, I want to just make a video right now, today. Right, like just finish a fucking video. You want to make know? one of Ryan's shorts. I want to make a short Ryan shorts. Yes, and then uh, um, and so then that was, so I had literally come up with that the portal video like thirty seconds before I hit record on the camera. I was like, oh, I'll have a I'll make a portal two places in my room, and that's like the best place I could set it up in my room. And then I thought it would be funny if I just not crash through my fucking window like I actually did, but uh, just like kind of hit the blinds a little bit and make and, you know whenever you hit blinds they make yeah. loud noises it's so like it's like. Should be one of those YouTube videos where it just cuts hard cut after you yeah. like you hear the stupid sound of the blinds and it look, would look awkward and dumb. But instead, I, that window is very fragile and my body is w way bigger and has more force than I ever realized. That you know, and then I um I crash through it and uh, and and I just uh, you can kind of see it in the video. I mean, it's just uh, I'm like. I realized what I had done <laughs> and how like two minutes earlier I should have just not hit record or whatever. And I, I, now I have, I have a broken a, window. And I, then I had to call the people. I called my landlord. I'm like, uh, so one of our windows broke. Uh, <laughs> like just didn't tell the story. You know, she's like, all right, yeah, we'll call the window, repair people and fix it. No I'm questions like, asked. Oh, okay. I, I guess I will. And then, then I got ripped off. Ooh, I don't butter. know how much windows cost. You, you know, had to pay for the replacement? I did, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I crashed through it. Uh, I threw my body through it. But yeah. They didn't I know mean, that. Yeah, but they didn't but know that. That's right. I mean, so I did pay for the replacement. How much would you think a window cost? I don't know. Like 100 bucks. 220 Okay. $500. I guess with installation. Well, for me, I was like, so, so the guy, uh, he was like, All right, I can do it this afternoon for 240 and I'm like, I, don't know, I could probably like try to undercut this dude, but like, he seems whatever. I'll give him the the 240. So then another guy, his worker guy, came over and did it. And then when I gave him the 240, he just counts it. He goes, "Oh, thanks for the big tip." <laughs> and I'm like, "Uh, oh. how, how much was this?" <laughs> you know, <laughs> like like. And then I'm like, "All right, take the big tip." It's too late. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe he was being sarcastic. No, maybe he paid him exactly 240, and he was going, "Thanks for the big tip." Ooh, I think his boss probably like you know 
just over over <clears throat> over uh, over quotes, yeah. and then use and then they work on a number below that. Where did you get the paper towels? Brick from? came Rick all the way brought them in. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, they weren't from his. <laughs> they didn't go to Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Patrick and I have a bet going on. and uh, A bet? Yeah. I have love you, gambling. <laughs> have you played Portal before? Uh, only, I played it here, and uh, and I love that game. That game is great. Interesting. Portal okay. 2. Cool. Is what I played. J.K. Simmons. I just won the bet. I'm trying to understand He's that. like a main character in mm-hmm. the game. Oh, and, oh, okay. By voice. So, Patrick oh, was betting that he hadn't played. Yeah, Patrick was betting that you hadn't played Portal before. He, he said, doesn't uh, believe in you your definitely abilities. Definitely had mm. never played. Well, I certainly am not like yeah. I haven't played a lot, but I've I've I've, I've played the game before. It's yeah. fun. You know, it was good. Have you smashed through a window before? Mm. I told it on the on some video recently, but I I whenever I was trying to knock on a stained glass yes, window, yes, I cut and I, that. And I, yeah, you cut that. Then I accidentally punched through it, like trying to knock the. Oh my god! <laughs> on a stained while, glass window. While I while we were uh, toilet papering a house, the French house, the French house, yeah. in a French. Austin. House. Okay. Well, it's like a co-op called French House. He was house. a co-op at the French House. So, anyway. That's Have the only you been other to the uh, yeah, Wee Wee case. Museum? <laughs> the Wee Wee Museum? Wee Wee Museum. Yes, yes, Museum? <laughs> you can smoke it like a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying Patrick doing a French voice. Yeah. Uh, so that video, the portal video was big, but, but you had a bigger video recently. Mm. Where you uh, announced you Deadly got the- Premonition Part Eight? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got by Bob Slash Show it, yeah. <laughs> it is filled with talk of goo. By the way, every single <laughs> yeah, one. that's since come to an end. <laughs> yes, we've made a we, conscious decision to. There is no Ryan Sperm Bake breakdown in, in nope. the, going nope. forward on Deadly Premonition. It's <laughs> all game all well, the time. We should see about GTA too, because I had to basically cut out a third because it was Ooh. all covered in the Deadly Premonition. Yeah, good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Honestly, good, good, <laughs> good call out. I got, I got to it when I was doing the cut down. I went, nah. Yeah. I was like, this <laughs> race just doesn't make it into the video. Yeah. I was like, I can't listen to this anymore. Yeah. Good call. Good call. It's funny though. Um, funny but no, you're talking about the pyramid water slide video. Yeah. Mm. My entire life in Memphis, Tennessee, I've always dreamt of being able to slide down the outside of the Memphis Pyramid, Which otherwise the, known as the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid now. Thank you. It wasn't the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid when I was growing up. But, really? Oh, oh yeah. something else before that? They just yeah. bought it? It was the, the, the Tomb of Doom. So Tomb it, 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 they, 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 uh, Memphis, I think the city built it, but it was for Memphis Tigers games, like college games, and then they have like you know Disney on Ice. I saw. Was it a stadium? It was a basically big stadium. Yeah. Oh wow! That is way more interesting. Well, I guess maybe not. The best pro shops makes it very weird. Well, it was ridiculous because essentially that was where all the shows were for twenty years, and then uh, and it cost a lot, like way too much to make, and then the Memphis Grizzlies came. And they were like, we don't want to play in that piece of shit. We want you guys have to make us a new stadium. So then they built the FedEx Forum. And then <clears throat> part of the claw the contract was like, oh, and also anything that ever was gonna be at the pyramid, we get like first first rights to to have the Rolling Stones come at our oh. place. So then it just made the pyramid like obsolete. And they weren't, uh, and then it just sat there dormant, this empty pyramid for like 10 years, and it wasn't being used for anything. And then finally, Bass Pro Shops bought it. That's the little history. Wow. So I notably, I don't really know very much about I know the pyramid. that. Inside, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you didn't even let me finish it. You <laughs> yeah, I, the, you know, I thought there was a period at the end of very much. Yeah. Okay. Um, what were you, uh, but you, you uh, go on though. Sorry to yeah. cut you off. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I, um, uh huh. So inside of the Bass Pro Shops pyramid, is it just a hundred percent store? It, it's it's a destination experience store, Armando. Don't just say just a store. What the fuck? No, it is a. You got a marshland, and there's catfish feedings, and there's archery places, and there's axe throwing, and there's a golf virtual golf thing. <laughs> And the Rolling <laughs> Stones are still there too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they you, oh, and you, it's a hotel. You can stay in it, like oh. uh, at, at night. Oh, and, uh, oh, I love staying inside of pyramids. Some people do. Uh, King Tut Luxor. is a big fan. I'm gonna do it at the fucking Bass Pro Shop, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then I will slide down it. And well, there's yeah. the the Ziggurat in uh, 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 Sacramento. Which is pyramid like. Oh, okay. But in Minecraft. There's also the pyramid of, of Jerry Maguire videotapes out in the middle of the desert that the everything is terrible uh, guys are uh, making a shrine to. Anyway, it's just another pyramid that exists. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> I'm learning so much today. Oh God! Don't mind me. I tested negative about five minutes ago before I got here. Um, uh, but yes, yeah, so I've always wanted to slide down the pyramid, and then I had this on my laundry list of video ideas. Was like, oh, I'm gonna make a video that's like a fake water slide park opening up on the pyramid. For yeah, sure. You know, that was easy concept and then so i did that and i made the video like probably two months ago yeah but then i thought that the voiceover was really like bad and not believable <laughs> you sound sick yeah well that's the thing too i, like, really, I was cold pro shop I had a bit cold. he sounds sick then or now <laughs> then I'm, I'm perfectly fine now or are you sure Maybe. Uh, you know, I don't know how reliable <laughs> those tests are. He's got are. citrus poison. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, I'm ODing on oranges here. Um, but uh, 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 fucking, what the fuck was I saying? You're talking about the VO. Oh, the VO. Yeah, I wasn't, gonna, I wasn't going to, um, I wasn't going to put the video out. And then I like showed it to my brothers. You know, I have like little focus groups around the country where I'm like, hey, you have to, this you is have to funny. These this is good. <laughs> Does yeah. this work? And then my brother's like, yeah, that video's funny. And then, um, so then I added a few more things, and it was just like the most awesome coincidence ever that I just happened to randomly put it up like four days before April Fool's. And so then it immediately, like I woke up the next morning and like a thousand people had shared in Memphis. I'm like, all right, baby, it's going, we're going. You know, it's mm. heading on, on our way to being viral in Memphis, you know? And so then like, yeah, two days later, it had like 10,000 shares. And then to the point where they were getting inundated with phone calls because they I put the phone number. <laughs> the real phone <laughs> yeah. number. The real phone number. Which I was like, mm, this is, should I do this? Yeah, I'm going yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know? It's a company. <laughs> Which actually, it was funny. if we want to play this on the show, I have uh, I I called a couple of days ago to reserve all my passes. Uh -huh. the, I'm like one of the people that called. You want to get in? And I had a whole funny conversation with this the guy, and I kind of got nervous though, and was like, because I was trying to tell him at some point, I'm like, hey, guess what? I'm the one that made it. And he's like, okay. Uh, like <laughs> I, I think he thought I was kidding. Yeah. You know, like and I'm like, okay, well, goodbye, Mike. See ya. So, um, you told him your name was Mike. His name was Mike. Oh, he well, he's like, hey, Mike, this is a uh, best pro shop uh, customer service. You yeah. Know? So anyway, um, that's why I knew his name was Mike. But uh, uh, so now they've gotten inundated with calls, and then the the news. Yeah, that's where I was going. The news on April Fool's Day of all days came out and did like a verify segment, like, is this rumor real? And then that was just the, the icing on the cake. Wow, this is and that's huge kind for of. You. Uh, my yeah. favorite part is that you accidentally took part in Facebook misinformation because uh -huh. that's where it blew up, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, Facebook. But that's how you get. That's how you get onto local local news. That's like the boomer track that uh -huh. you that you found yourself in because you were, we were talking mm. before the news stories and you're like, yeah, I got like five thousand shares on Facebook and people are like saying like, oh, this isn't real. But like some people, I, some uh, people, way more people thought I was real than I ever anticipated. That's what I'm saying. It's like, so you, stupid. You the got video it. Is. That's what Facebook does best. Uh -huh. And you somehow rode that wave all the way to the nightly news. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's great. And I think Thank we you. should use it for that rather than like, I don't know, say conservative propaganda or white <laughs> yeah. supremacist talking points or yeah. stuff, trick people. stuff about globalists. Yeah, just lie to people. About about harmless things. <laughs> George Soros is sliding down the pyramid. <laughs> oh my God! Did you oh, see? He's behind this. this. Y'all watch. I mean, did it? Was it at all believable to y'all? Well, <laughs> that it was real. One, I know you. Uh, yeah, it's hard okay, not well, to. Hard. But two, yeah. no, not at all. Like how? <laughs> how like. No, uh -huh. it's, it's so silly. It's, uh -huh. so, it's yeah. so you. It's just like to watch that and go. Mm. That's real. <laughs> I just like when they showed you on the when they showed your video on the nightly news. They said, uh, "Boy, I'll tell you, Rick, if the janky graphics weren't enough to tip you off, wonky, wonky. That's wonky. what it was. Not janky. It was wonky. That reminds me of uh, John told a story. I think in a video where he sent in an edit to Attack of the Show. I think uh -huh. that he made like some fan like competition contest edit thing, and so they put it on, and someone. Went, Someone's been watching a little bit too much Tim and Eric, <laughs> and it's just so smug. And it's like, obviously that's the style. Yeah, obviously right. that's the point of it. It sounds the same. It's like kind of wonky graphics, and it's like so clearly that's the point. Yeah, I think it. I think it was probably like literally. I'd say twenty percent of people actually, I think, believed it, which is way more than I ever thought. But then a lot of people, I think, it just captured their imaginations were like oh well i hope i hope this is true yeah i would love to slide it's probably not but 
I mean, tell what do y'all think? Do you think you made children cry as a result of this? Some, some people were like, my t- my <clears throat> kids have been talking about because they were like some teacher in a, a at school and like, yeah, all my kids came in and were psyched about going on this water slide oh, in summer. No. <laughs> Crushing <I'm> dreams. Like, <laughs> 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 Sorry, kids. <laughs> <laughs> you may, I wish that there was a Ryan for Philadelphia. Be the Ryan for Philadelphia. I don't know if I can be. I don't know if I can be. But like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's 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 so fun to watch you like catalog these things and like be like beat the drum for Memphis. Even here in LA. I don't think unofficial Memphis YouTube ambassador. I don't, I don't think I've ever really talked about it on this on anything Funhouse before. But I'm running for mayor of Los Angeles. You've been telling me about this. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited to to support your campaign. Yeah, and, would you uh, endorse would you, you? Would you want to be? Would you? Would you want a spot on the campaign? Oh no, absolutely not. You want to be politics. chief propagandist? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I want nothing to do with this. What do you but mean? I, I will cheer from you from afar. No, but I have a great platform. <laughs> um, I'm pro crime, first of all. Okay, mm-hmm. as I've shown many times on this show. I'm not. I'm anti uh, parking enforcement too. That's like my big. thing. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. you're speaking it's my language. Big, mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. I, I just I overheard something yesterday that Ryan reminded me of when you're talking about the kids talking about the pyramid mm-hmm. and I I caught a conversation between I went to the park to read a book. No, oh, nice. That's and cute. there was like there was like a <laughs> face <laughs> What? I'm sorry. She she said I went to the park to read a book. Humble break. <laughs> it's very exciting. You took a break just Humble so that we could all we could all go. Oh, yeah, cool. okay, we get it. You know how to read. Yeah. And we don't. Fine. <laughs> Wait, Ryan, we know how to read. So what was the rest of your story, <laughs> <laughs> So I went to the park to read a book, and there was like a, not Little League, but like, you know, like probably like high school aged kids baseball game, okay. or a little bit younger, I would say, like middle school. It's like just above Little League, but below like real serious like high school play. But like their game ended, I was sitting in the foul ball area too, so I was like, there's a non-zero chance I get clocked in the head uh-huh. <laughs> while reading my book, but I... um. <laughs> <laughs> I went to I was just sitting there while all the kids were walking by and there were two kids and one was like you see Morbius yet and the other one was like no and he said the was, first kid said it's awesome it's <laughs> amazing and the other kids were like whoa and he's like yeah and Tobey Maguire shows up at the end and it's t- it's in Tobey Maguire's spider universe and I'm like and the other one was like whoa and he's like yeah you gotta see it and I'm just like what an amazing time as a child when you lie for no reason for, I guess, some sort of made up clout that can be so easily debunked. Uh, is, is, like, is that not true? It's not. It's not true. Oh my God. I it's love not, that it kid. doesn't happen in the movie. And I thought he was going to, I thought it was, there was going to be sort of like a knowing smile on his face. Like, I just pranked the hell out of this idiot. And, um, no, he's just like, yeah, he's in the movie. And the other kid goes, oh, that's cool. And that was the end of the conversation. And I was like, that's like my uncle works at Nintendo. It's yeah. just like, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm 12 or a 13 and I'm just going to lie. I'm just going <laughs> to tell a lie yeah. that doesn't move the needle for me in any way. And it doesn't even really hurt them if that's mm. what I'm going for. <laughs> and it just, it made me nostalgic for a time where people would just not tell the truth. I guess for fun. Yeah, honestly, that fucking slaps. Yeah, I it's awesome. That. It's because yeah. it's so low stakes, and yeah. it's like Morbius rocks, Toby McGuire's, and it's like one, no, it doesn't, and no, two, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like that yeah. kind of that kind of childhood dishonesty among friends is kind of like a from a bygone era of not having a, the internet to verify information. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh, Kids, man. lie more. It's fun. Like, you it would always, with your friends. He, like, lies about like, oh, like in Pokemon, if you go behind this truck, you'll find Mew or something yes, like that. Yes, exactly. It's, it's just like, complete no, bullshit. Don't. But I would still like, I'm behind this truck, where's the Mew? Uh, yeah. Because uh, like, it's kid, not there. A kid told me, he's like, I sent in a Lego design and they made it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> at, uh, uh, at Burning Man, there's a, uh, uh, there's everyone's always saying, "Hey, did you hear Daft Punk is playing at at, at the trash fence at two a.m. or something?" The trash fence. Yeah, there's a trash <laughs> fence. So you go as you literally like keep riding your bike for twenty minutes, and you finally get to a trash fence, a fence made out of trash. And everyone's oh like, "Dude, d- it's like a it's like a, a long standing." 
troll yeah. lie. We're just like, oh, Daft Punk is playing tonight at, at the trash pit. So are you going to be there? And then I, only the new idiots that don't know any better actually go all the way out there. I would 100% the burning see children. that yeah, the coming virgins. from a mile away. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the Daft Punk is going to play at the trash pit? Crazier things have happened at Burning Man, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, have a, I had a friend in elementary school who uh, used to get like picked on a couple times and they would do like yo mama jokes and shit. How dare they? And nice. he did that he did that classic move where somebody did one too many yo mama jokes and he just snapped and he went my mom died and uh no one was really friends with him so everyone just kind of believed it and then we all just moved on from that and then he kept that lie going for years <laughs> and only recently did one person that we uh kind of like were mutuals with you know it's like one of the like we were friends in middle or in elementary school not really and then we went to different high schools and then we've reconnected and yeah. become like adult friends. So we went over to his house and his mom was there. And this guy who had spent years thinking that this kid's mom was dead just found out that he lied and now doesn't want anything to do with them. <laughs> it's, wow. I'm trying to like mitigate this. And he's like, he's a fucking sociopath. And I was like, he was five. <laughs> but to keep it's like Brian Williams. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right? My mom exactly. was in the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> Getting rained on by RPGs. On Halloween in uh, high school, I uh, peed on my friend John's couch, his mom's couch. But you I peed, you said? I peed, mm -hmm. I peed all over oh, it. I was couch. drunk. Was that your uh, first one? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 <laughs> I remember but the I, first video I, shot I denied it to, to my dying breath. Like, you know, he'd be like, Ryan, you peed on my mom's I was like, no, I did not. I fucking, uh, it was a beer and I remember spilling it very distinctly and I like but I was like just lying it's a very teeth. salty beer you know, my teeth. and then everyone's like Ryan it's okay we know that this happens sometimes I'm like no I did not maybe I did those other times but that time at John's house I did not do that one until the <laughs> point where it was like all throughout high school he's like Ryan just admit it on high, uh, the freshman year you made it on my mom's couch I'm like nope nope, nope. Do you, have you still maintained it uh, uh, I, I want to say like like a year or two ago like we were wasted I'm like John, I oh, can't believe no, it. No, I pissed on your mom. I just like, yeah, we fucking know. Like, okay, I just want to get <laughs> I'm off so my sorry. chest. My, my dad had a friend who got really drunk at the beach. They were at like the beach house and he peed himself in bed. And then the next morning he came out and he was like, which one of you clowns pissed on my bed? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a power move. That fucking rocks. I mean, that's what you got to do. It's just like, you own up to it. It's like, this is mine. I did this. And nobody can touch he me He wasn't for owning it. up to it. <laughs> that is really funny. Though. Hey, speaking of peas, we got to go do one for ourselves. So we have we're to gonna... appease our sponsors. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I'm sure so stamps.com is going to love that. <laughs> of course they will. Yeah. Because just like my pee, they're quick, fast, and easy. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with more Goo Talk in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> what video was it where you're talking about you like peed on your dad at Mardi Gras or something? <laughs> I mean, that happened recently, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that happened I just like remember what video January. Did he get stung by a Louisiana jellyfish? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> uh, not weird between the, between the ferns or whatever. <laughs> Time is money, money is time. So don't waste either with repeated trips to the post office. With Stamps.com, you can skip the trip and focus on taking your small business to the next level. Stamps.com lets you print official postage right from your computer. I use Stamps.com almost every single day of my life when I'm shipping stuff out for my side podcast. It makes things so easy. There is no better feeling than just walking into the post office, walking right past the line, dropping off all your packages, and just walking away. It's amazing. Stamps.com doesn't just make things easier, by the way. It makes shipping more affordable, too. With Stamps.com, you can get discounts that you cannot find anywhere else, like 40% off of USPS rates and 76% off UPS. 76 is insane. So whether you're an office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life so much easier. Stop overpaying for shipping with Stamps.com. Sign up with the promo code FHPOD for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code FHPOD. Stamps.com is beautiful, baby. 
And we're back. Thank you, everybody, Sorry. for joining us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that ad read really got me. Yeah, it's real yeah. oh, I also don't like going to the post office. <laughs> 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 yeah, it is. Okay, I, I had to check the ad reads before this. Oh my god! Um, I just bought completely independent of sponsors. Like bought them themselves in the same week. A purple pillow and a Quip toothbrush. Ooh, that's harsh. what listening to podcasts for nine years will do to you. <laughs> Gets in there. All yeah, the they. I love the pillow. <clears throat> Phenomenal. I've always been curious because they look so interesting. The hex pattern. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth it. Also, I don't like my current pillow. I had somebody uh, uh, problems. I had somebody try to use their purple mattress to like I don't it sounds nefarious but it wasn't but they were like trying to lure me into their bedroom you know oh. where they're like have you seen my purple mattress and I was like no I haven't seen your mattress and then she lifted up the sheets and so you could like actually see what it looked like and she was like isn't that look comfortable and I was like that looks weird what is it like how does it feel when you and then it turned into a 30 minute conversation about like how it feels how it stands up everything like that and it was an ad like a hint yeah. it was an ad we didn't even time. fuck no i was too interested in the thing and i was looking for a swap goo? no i didn't swap goo at all okay uh, moving on that's my uh, question for ryan i didn't want to introduce that when i brought up the that was it was a it was a completely Nine. You did this, Charlotte. This is you. Yes, Lindsay. Goo and the purple goo. mattresses are filled with goo. That's goo can why be they're... many things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, go on. Ask your question. Um, Ryan, can you tell us about the gathering? Of the Juggalos? I'm glad you went you to the gathering? Me. No, I didn't. But I, 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 my, I was at the wedding, like, inebriated. And then all of a sudden, my, my uh, brothers reminded me that they went on sale. I'm like, oh, fuck. And I really wanted to go this year because I hear Violent J is going to have some health issues or something and is not going to be able to maybe do the oh, gathering anymore. Oh, I see. I thought you were saying mm. that you wanted to see that. Like, <laughs> no. I heard Violent J is going to have some health issues and I got to be <laughs> I gotta there. I got to be there for when he keels over. Um, no, that'll be sad. Uh, uh, so I, but I was literally in the, at the porter potty at the wedding and then I just, uh, I bought one ticket to the gathering and then about 30 minutes later, I'm like, I, I can't count on my brothers all maybe buying a ticket to this, so I bought a second ticket to the gathering. So now I have a, a plus one, and uh, uh, it's I can't wait. It's gonna be so great. So now you're going to Ohio. When is it? August third through sixth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Paige you wanna, and I are going too. Are you going? Yeah. Uh -huh. Fuck yeah! We're gonna have a fun house, fun house gathering at the gathering of the Juggalos. We're going to yeah. Colt Podcast loves going to the gathering of the Juggalos. Dude, hell yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you there. Yeah. I'll be, uh, we'll be at the drug bridge. I'll be in LA. <laughs> yeah. So look for me doing like normal stuff. Charlotte, you're yeah. coming. I, I have three months to talk you into coming. <laughs> it's not even the, IC you don't it's not even the ICP stuff. You're not going to catch me in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Where else on this planet are you going to watch a pregnant woman smoking and freestyling at the same time? And then, a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Any but, bus. But what about, the, the, is there going to be a, a, a wet Fago t-shirt contest after that? Yeah. Probably. On, on the bus? Yeah, I want to be sticky game? and then do whip it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> There's I'm going to mainline a ready can of whipped cream <laughs> yeah. that, that guy that guy is superhuman human who's a juggalo who does the stunts on twitter yeah i, can, I do not endorse Ooh. them I, I don't think i can like say that because they're they're they seem pretty dangerous yeah the, the like, juggalos or, or him, him this person him yeah, he, okay. fo he, he follows me oh okay cool yeah does he do like but again i don't stuff? i don't condone condone it no 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 you I've, just wa like I've watched the, it and, the I, and i won't comment any further yeah but. it's just like it's in the middle of nowhere it's like in a but near a bunch of towns yeah. where i grew up that's perfect it's that, 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 trashville yeah sure yeah, awesome. well, oh daft punk is playing there whoa cool <laughs> Yeah, I, have you way. been before? No, I, I've always wanted to go. Really? Oh. Yeah, it's so funny though because it's like the, uh, it's like yeah, the, the fucking world opens up and then the the, the the first year feels a little normal. I'm going to the goddamn gathering of the Juggalos, yeah. yes. Mardi Gras, yes. Super Bowl, like all these bizarre yeah. cultural. And I'm like, all right, I don't know. I've been to a lot of like all equal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all completely the same. I've you been to a lot of can. music festivals before, and a lot of music festivals specifically that like promote like good vibes and like let's goo all vibes? come together. Yeah, goo, goo vibes. Charlotte, Ryan, <laughs> let's all come together. And there's just like 
like a lot of like anger and angst in them. <laughs> oh my! And then I go to Gathering of the Juggalos, where like one of the leaders of ICV is literally named Violent J. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and but hey, good vibes still. Yeah, there, and right? but they it is. Fam? I've never seen somewhere more supportive. Uh -huh. <laughs> like they're so welcoming. They don't care <laughs> if you're new to it. If you're an outsider, they don't care. They're just there to have a good. They time. They have weird uh, slang words for you, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, you're one of those. I don't know what it is. You've been to this before? Yeah. How many Slime times? Words for once. Who? Once? Fuck I you. went Look, once. This is where Slime it words is. for, for can the all see it? juggle gathering virgins. You know, Only like, I oh, that person's the, never the been screen. here before. They're, they're clearly just here to like a to, goober or to, something to, like that. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I forget what the terms are, but yeah, they're fucking crazy. Yeah. They have their own. They have like dictionary. all these slangs. Chicken hunters is what they call themselves because chicken uh, let's get chicken hacking. Let's, 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 let's for chicken hunting. Let's, let's chicken, chicken chickens hunting. are racists, and chicken hunting is the act of finding racists and kicking the shit out of them. Oh, yeah, they're did like. You, a, did you go to the the march of the Juggalos in Washington D.C.? I didn't. No. How many oh, things of the, the Juggalos? That's are the there? one Morgan Freeman narrated. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right, the yes. Juggalos. And here mate. we find the Juggalos. <laughs> Here's outside. a little fact. You know the Juggalos actually mate for life. Yeah, and it's, it's the it's the male jugglers that protect the juggler eggs. Yeah. When the, when the <laughs> little did they know that Daft Punk would not be at the trash. <laughs> <place. laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> whoop whoop. Then the, the, the female ninja met the male ninja, and they made little juggalettes, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> Lindsay, what are you showing I us? See She's pee trying to show on us Ryan's the, friend's the... couch. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I was just showing that. how barren and empty Ohio is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we know. It's lifeless. Ohio. Can it fucking at, sucks. Can we look at Cedar Point? 27 roller coasters? Maybe more yeah. now. Ooh. I got food poisoning uh, at the Woo! Uh, Fat Fish Blue in Cleveland oh. the night after going Fuck to the Cleveland. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Fuck Cleveland. Fuck Cleveland. And uh, we went to the uh, zoo, and I was, like, so sick. And my mom was like... Uh, uh, so sick and so I was like mom I so feel really sick. bad and she's like well we got the tickets already so let's just go at least try the monkey exhibit <laughs> so, <laughs> so she left me on a bench outside for like 10 minutes just like uh <laughs> good corpse yeah then I threw up in a toilet oh uh, which sucks. is good you know yeah. that's where you want to throw up it's the and best then, place uh, to throw I was up. looking for Cedar Point but let me hit the road. Like Lindsay, we're in the middle of something. Yeah she, was, somebody asked I thought she asked she said can you show I wanted point? to see Cedar Point yeah I shit myself in the Per parking lot of a Burger King. Oh, the burger. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh no! Oh man, I've shit myself in the parking lot of a Whataburger. There before. it is. Never a Burger King. Cedar though. Point. I wow. will go. There's a TGI Fridays at the tip of <laughs> Cedar Point. How did I not know this? What the fuck? That's awesome. Have you ever been to Skatopia, Lindsay? Uh, is that in Ohio or Indiana? Skatopia. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever been there. Wow. What's all that shit around Cedar Point? Uh, trash. Water. And oh, trash. Okay. <laughs> that funk. Oh, oh it's like Island. dirty water. Oh, no. Our ball went into Johnson's Island. Oh. In the Confederate <laughs> Cemetery. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, man. Old, old man E. Lee is going to keep our ball. <laughs> <laughs> People take boats out to Peru? the cemetery. There's a Peru, Ohio. There's all kinds of stuff in Ohio. Fitchville? In Ohio. New London? Wow. There's a whole bunch of shit in Ohio except for anything fun to do or anyone interested. No, well, I just looked up that Skatopia is in Ohio, and uh, everyone, everyone should go there at some point in their life, too. It's just some underground place where you play uh, music while skateboarders go around, and then they throw fireworks while That's you play. That's sick. At you. It's just, at you? That's awesome. It's just Bottle under Rock an overpass. Just, yeah, kind of. Any cool. overpass in Los Angeles. I dig that. Yeah. Something exciting for all the Ohio visitors, I you guess. Ever, have you ever been and to one of the born and raised, like the, the overpass punk shows? I mean, I've been to an under overpass punk show. I, I don't know about born and raised. Uh, uh, is that like a, or do you mean just people born and raised here? No, there's a brand, a streetwear brand. brand called Born and Raised. And sometimes they'll run these overpass or underpass or whatever the fuck punk shows. 
uh, and they're awesome because it's what the Mexican community calls a real fucking rocker fool. <laughs> so it's like this weird mix between cholo culture and rocker culture where you get like rockabilly people with mullets, but then you'll also get people that look like my uncle who have like low riders and mm -hmm. like with, you know, once you hit, see somebody like hit the switches to like title fight, that's when it's like, dude, this fucking rocks. I love this. I love the East LA, like Mexican ska punk scene. It's yeah. so awesome. Are you talking about like, okay, do you consider like Chicano Batman like that in that kind, same well, realm? Nah, I don't know. I've tried to explain what kind of music Chicano Batman makes, and somebody was like, "It's like Scott." I'm sorry, this is. Hey. I've listened to Chicano Batman. I know, yeah. but I'm I'm reading a book in the park now, and it sucks. <laughs> and I get it. You read in the park? That's no. weird. I didn't know you were the type to. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> Comedians, <laughs> oh, I, I they don't read the, the yeah, park. There's like this East LA ska punk festival every year that happens, and Voodoo Glow Skulls um, headlined the last time I went, and it's great because it's like such a fun like uh, uh, community, and I don't know understand a word the whole day because everybody, the, the, all the songs and the banter in between is all in Spanish <laughs> and stuff. And okay, it's just like wow. really, uh, but you feel it. Though. I feel it, man. Yeah, I'm there, I'm part of it. When I'm there, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I felt accepted. I like it. I was in Little Tokyo over the weekend, and I was reminded that um, of the first video of yours that I saw, which was the gyoza eating competition, because uh, yeah, you invited we us to come with you, and uh -huh. I, I think I went, and Omar came as well, uh -huh. and it was it was a marvel Wasn't to behold. That, that was I'm glad. You yeah, came I, I watched that video too, and that was like for I like watched it. I was like, oh, this is this is something. This is <laughs> Ryan's out there in this video. This is how Ryan is. <laughs> the, the first video of Ryan's that I saw was the, I think, quiz show giving a ride to a woman a ride to the airport. The money oh, taxi. The <laughs> money taxi, yes, of Ryan's, yes, game, show, of yeah. Ryan's game. Well, actually, I think I had seen another Ryan's game show where you just had a woman come in and do fold laundry, mm -hmm. which was very good. <laughs> but the, the money taxi was especially funny because, like, I think you got her, she found a ride on Craigslist, uh -huh. which is just like, <laughs> What the hell? Free ride. I said, hey, I will offer anyone a free ride anywhere in L.A. as long as you let me film you during it. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a concerning post. Uh -huh. It's so good. I had just started with Inside Gaming and I was like, who, what the hell? <laughs> who is this guy? It's so funny. She gets in. the. We pick her up at the, at the fucking Greyhound station and then she gets in and she's in the, you can imagine this, in the middle seat in the back and then my... Uh, Greg and Poncho are here, uh, and they both have cameras. Like, so, they're both, so she's being filmed by both on both sides. Oh my of her. god! And then I'm, I'm. There's another camera here, and then I'm like uh, turning around, and then yeah, like at first I'm like, oh yeah, we're just making a little, you know, I, I pitch like we're making just a doc about ride sharing and stuff. And at some point I'm like, actually, you're on the money taxi. <laughs> oh and and later on she's like, I had my hand on my Mace's trigger the, for the first 15 minutes of that ride. And then oh got, like, like <laughs> I wish I had seen that video. I <laughs> wish you had hit a speed Shit. bump. <laughs> 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 you know, that makes sense. But she ended up winning like $8.45. So yeah. Yeah, who's yeah, laughing now? It's, it's, it's so to funny her. to know that she was under duress. Yeah, I, I mean, that's not good that. yeah. for her. Yeah. But knowing that you are a safe person and that she was never in danger allows yeah. me to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, you, you convinced her that it was, it was a fun time uh, yeah she said it was one that, of the best parts of her whole trip the, they know? should do cash cab except <laughs> the passenger has a loaded handgun yeah. <laughs> i always i don't and know really how. like raise the stakes <laughs> yeah, right. and poor trigger discipline i don't know how they yeah. do cash cab but i'd love to see one where somebody like actually has to get somewhere very important i think yeah i've seen i've seen that spoofed in some capacity where it's like i don't have time for this i can't be yeah. they did yeah, it I'm at uh, 30 rock i just realized yes, yeah, that's when, right. when uh, tracy's uh 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 daughter or something is being born or something yes like it's that. so it's so funny <laughs> Yeah. It's so good. It's so, but it's I, so Tracy. I'd love to see that in real life. Just somebody being like, I'm 30 minutes late for my flight. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. George Washington Carver. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> the printing press. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gutenberg. Yeah. Uh, the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> they should do cash, uh, cash bus. 
Bucks bus. Oh. No, Bucks should, bus. Should, bang should, bus. Bang bus. Ooh. Bang for your buck Did bus. I, oh, man. This and was then you couple, bang afterwards. Yeah, then, then, <laughs> then you all have an orgy. Yeah. <laughs> this was a couple of years. First of all, I wish they would do uh, and cash. And it's in Peru, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> it probably already is. I wish they would do cash jet where you're just riding on a regular airplane. And if you miss a question, they do kick you off. Oh, mm. I was going to. It's like Vomit Comet where they kill the engine. <laughs> and just plummet. And it's like. <laughs> <laughs> what is hydrogen? Yeah. <laughs> you answer this question right, we will pull up. <laughs> but on the topic of uh, 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 Bang Bus, uh, I just remember this is fucking three years ago. I was driving back from San Diego to Los Angeles and I saw a car with heavily tinted windows. Cool. And I noticed some shit was going on in there. And it took me a while to figure it out, but I had been following them for a while and we'd been stuck in traffic. There was people fucking in it. And I, I realized that I saw a third person who was clearly doing this, moving around them fucking in it. I guess, I don't know. Well, I, they were shooting something. Shooting I, I know that people fuck in cars and film it, but I guess I just, I thought maybe they would just huh. ride around like an industrial park so that no one would see them. They someone, were on the five. Someone is like right about to finish and then there's a frame where it's a side view and you're just like. <laughs> outside the, you the car and you're and just die. like <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll remember your face god i hope so yeah i think they will so it happens every time you finish it takes a picture <laughs> it stays in your brain <laughs> i've forever. been like a i've been coaster. looking exactly. through they have a ride that does it at cedar point <laughs> It finishes you and then your photo gets taken. I've been looking through every single Bang Bus variant style video that I can find to try and see if I could find this one. Uh, so far, I haven't. But mm. they, I know exactly what freeway they were on. I know yeah. the make and model of the car. And uh, I eventually at one point had to get off of the freeway while they were getting off on the freeway. And uh, I made eye contact with the driver of the car, and he did one. He looked at me, and I think he knew that I knew, and he just went. <laughs> and gave nice. me a thumbs up. Just one of those. Nice. Like, nice. By the way, Jacob, that ride at Cedar Point is called the Goo Flume. Oh. It's called the what? The Goo Flume. The Goo Flume. Goo Flume. The Goo Flume. Goo Flume. Goo Flume. Goo Flume. Goo Flume. <laughs> oh my god also just uh peek behind the curtain this entire time throughout the podcast uh while we were like having conversation Lindsay was just on google maps looking up different places in ohio i think that was here for it was for a little bit while we were having the conversation but that she took it down and then was looking at like the crest toothpaste <laughs> factory and <laughs> shit cool it's like disneyland over there you know what sucks cvs keeps the sensodyne behind a locked case but the knockoffs are just on the shelf. Ugh. So like you can get like an inferior product or have to go through the rigmarole it's of Ollie's asking. It's Ollie's Bargain Outlet, okay? That's what it was, okay. Ollie's Bargain Outlet? Yeah, I worse. don't know, I just clicked on it. And it's just a picture of Crest toothpaste. Yeah. Oh. What a bargain, special edition holiday. Oh, just in time for the holidays. There's a, oh man, there's some great, like you get on the Pennsylvania Turnpike and you go to like Shady Maple. Mm -hmm. Are you Ooh. familiar? No. It's just like a, giant outlet store What's with it? just like it's i think it's called like a smorgasbord like self-described but it's like a, an eatery it's just this enormous okay. place where you can just buy pretty much anything and get lost in like you're like oh i want to like just stop driving and kill two hours <laughs> let me see if i can find it and there's there are billboards shady maple smorgasbord pennsylvania dutch restaurant in each or east earl pennsylvania dutch Ooh. what's a what's a turnpike it's like a it's like a toll highway. Ah, uh, can you fuck on it? Uh, well, I mean, you think you'd be hard pressed to find a place you can't. Huh? Fair enough. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's you, it's like this. It's this enormous building just with like a huge buffet, oh. Oh. and it's the kind of thing that you wouldn't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. They or should even make it want to go to anywhere else. Being on the road lowers your standards. <laughs> I love that. There's a, a place uh, that's in between Los Angeles and, well, San Francisco. and uh, Sacramento? Yeah. I mean, it's between both of those, technically. No, nah, there's just like, it's one of those places uh, where they have signs for it leading up to it where it's just like, try our pea soup! Oh! Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 in the grapevine. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. by all those vineyards They got a big stuff. sign for yeah. it. Yeah. And, and a lot of them have... will just be like, nuts! Yeah. We have nuts! <laughs> 
It's great, yeah, because there's it's the only it's the only advertisement that makes any sense because you just have whatever they sell is one word nuts. Yeah, and then you have all these weirdly like I'm not anti-conservative necessarily, but like these are like way too like they're like the fucking is California have water anymore? Trump and it's just like wait, what does what, that have to do with anything? Or, wait, Pro what? Yeah. There's just signs that they have nothing where it's just like California doesn't have water. Fuck Joe Biden. And you're like, how did you where's the where's the jump from one from A to B? Oh, okay. You said anti conservative. No, they yeah. are conservative. They're just oh, it I doesn't matter. Confused. It's yeah. they, they don't it make any just sense. Say, to water me. doesn't California doesn't yeah. have water I, anymore. Stop drinking almond milk. <laughs> I've seen stuff I like that. I love almond milk. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I know, think it man. was that the people just leave a lot of signs on that long stretch and they're not going to take them down because it's like a six hour drive. You know what? From end to finish. Yeah. There's a lot of signs for in a long distance. Pie Town, New Mexico. Pie Town? It's, off, it's off like, it's like the only thing Yummy. for like a hundred miles. So like <gasps> starting like 200, 200, maybe a little, maybe like 150 miles out, you start seeing signs. Pie Town, 140 Pie miles Town. away. And you, you keep seeing them and you're like, Pie, that's a strange name for a town. And then you, um, sorry, there's some sounds outside. Those the yeah. You, uh, you, you get closer, and you start seeing more signs, and they have like pie decals. It is a town dedicated to selling pie. Oh my god! It, it it's just pie shops. It's like a half mile stretch with like four or five different pie shops. It's a math town. No, with an E. Oh, come oh. on! Oh. Get your head out this of the books, time. you dweeb. <laughs> Ryan always talking about math. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it That's sounds like for. it sounds like the location used in one of those, uh, like what are they called? The the Hallmark Christmas movies. It's too it's too isolated. I'm like, the mayor of Pie Town. I had, I was an assistant editor on a Hallmark Christmassy movie, and Ooh. it was in Romania. My oh. mom is in the background of Christmas at Graceland. Lifetime. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She's in the like, bank scene. Ooh. I oh, knew yeah. that was her. I knew, knew that was <laughs> her. But anyway, I got a chili apple uh, pie slice. We, we we drove through it, me and my friend who were driving across the country with, and we were like, what if we stopped? And then we were like... Yummy. Break. Cake or pie? Yeah. yeah. Super good pie. I love... Answer the question. Cake or pie? Pie. Okay, pie. Good. Wait. Oh, in general? In general. Pie. Cheesecake. How, how do that? Yeah, you can't. Uh, cheesecake is a pie. A cheesecake is just a uh, a cakey pie. A cake Wrong. A cakey pie. See, yeah, it's, it falls in the middle, just like Sacramento, dead between yeah. Los Angeles and San Francisco. <laughs> Armando, I think I'm, I, I I think I need to puke and go edit. <laughs> you can I can tell that the puke was. Oh real. yeah, thank you. Earlier, you were you were shifting in your seat, and I could see that there was something. I'm wrong. dying here. You have yeah. the posture of somebody who has to puke. I could. I could right now. I, oh my god! Not on. I, don't, I won't do. right now. But uh, I threw up at Mondo's place when I showed up. John. Oh, cool. I know you weren't going to say it because you care about my my honor or shame <laughs> or whatever. But mm. I threw up, came out, did a little dance, and said, "Any questions?" <laughs> no, <laughs> she 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 yarfed and then came outside and then went. We are in the grace period. And if you have any <laughs> questions, I will be answering them now. You know, the clarity after you vomit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Post-yarf clarity. Post-yarf yeah. clarity. Yeah. Post God. Post-yarf post clarity <laughs> is playing at the trash fence at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, that's going to do it for us. Ryan's got to go yarf it up right now. Hey, if you want here, why don't you go to my place, bud? It's Thank the Funhouse puke pad. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I'm Armando Torres. This is Jacob Fullerton, Ryan Haley, Charlotte Puke McGrath. And uh, <laughs> shouts out to Lindsay and Rick, who are on the ones and twos. We bye love you bye. so much. Bye. 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 I'm going to die. He's going to die. <laughs> oh, don't make <laughs> noise.